Hey, people. I've got a topic for you today. Now, I'm not going to show you any homeless people in this video, but we're going to talk about like homeless people in Taiwan. Because I notice a lot of them are in my area. I live in the center of Taipei. We're not there now, but it got me looking at some statistics. And basically, a few of the reasons, what, what shocked me was is that people in Taiwan, they suggested from this uh, study, think that homeless people are just naturally inclined to become homeless, which is strange because other statistics show that some, where somewhere high as 90%, it's beyond their control. That's quite high. Now, that's a weird sort of mix. Uh, they also suggest low birth rates, and the men are typically in their 50s, and they've lost a lot of jobs. You know, they've outsourced a lot of jobs to China, like blue collar type workers. So that's the economy, low birth rates. And they also estimate somewhere, this is in 2017, like 9,300 people were homeless. Like, that's not very much. Compared to other countries, Canada's got like 300,000 to 150,000 down to, but that's twice the population, but a lot bigger percentage are homeless in Canada. And this was a weird statistic I found. It found that uh, it was due to an inability to pay rent. Well, that's kind of an obvious statistic. If you can pay rent, you'd have a choice, right? You might probably not want to live on the street. But there's some other things that they say it's actually underestimated too. I'm all over the place, but uh, underestimated because the way they calculate homeless is someone in the family has a house, they're not considered homeless. Well, that's sort of weird, right? So, anyway, it's a lot bigger number. Current data in 2024 has the number a lot lower, which I find weird because it's after the pandemic. So, they're not doing the counting right or people aren't registering as homeless, I guess. I don't know. But another thing that I thought of was a reason was because of the weather. I mean, you can actually be homeless and just, just go with it. You can just what, live off the grid. Now, in countries where, because it's not cold, right? You, know, you only get like maybe a week or two where it's like down to six degrees, just put a blanket on. You can survive, no problem. You see it happen all the time. But, uh, you know, those people typically aren't registering. You know, they're just living their life as dire as it is. 3% of the uh, housing is owned by the government, so it's very low. There's like wait times of like seven years or something. But anyways, I, I see them every day and it's sad. You know, nobody, I don't think anybody wants to be homeless. Maybe somebody wants to, I don't know. Probably not, right? In most cases, and I think that's pretty safe to say as an assumption. But, uh, you know, with the public sort of thinking it's probably their own fault, that's from a poll. It doesn't help with like fixing the problem, you know, because it's, they're just sort of looked down upon. No, I have a, few, a, I live in an area where there are quite a few homeless, just simply because it's near market. You know, they can sort of panhandle or whatever the heck they do, beg for money in a lot of cases. And I give out the money. But I've got a few stories, like there's this one guy, he's always asking me for money and I usually give him something, you know, once every few weeks. But the last time I gave him money, now this is your typical story. Now, by no means is this representative, representative of all homeless people. But I was walking out of a store, let me tell you a quick story. And this guy was like asking for money, like he doesn't know English, obviously. And I had a sandwich I just bought, still in its package and a, like a juice of some sort. And he just sort of gave me this, I sort of handed it to him. I go, here you go, just take this, right? And he just gave me the like disgruntled look. And I'm like, okay, I get it. This guy wants to drink, you know? So I'm not his parents. I mean, imagine being homeless. You might want to drink, you know? Might be that little escape from reality. But I just had a thing about the way he looked at me. So I have to say, I don't like giving it to him because he can eat, you know, he's eating. He's not making any effort to change. I think he's a little out there, but what is it my responsibility as a foreigner to take care of this person? Not really. I like to do what I can, but it's just sad. Like, I don't actually look down on the person like another person may look down on them for that because I could imagine, you know, being in a position where you just want a small escape and maybe alcohol would be the first thing that comes to mind, right? In a lot of cases. Anyways, 
I honestly think a statistic they didn't look at, as I mentioned, was that you can simply survive here. You could live outside permanently in this country. The weather's not going to kill you. And watching people, I'm not saying do it, watching people be homeless, they usually make a couple hundred bucks here and there. I've noticed just watching them from a distance. Yeah, they'll eat and they won't die outside, so you know, it's almost harder to fix when you don't necessarily need to. It's not as immediate like in a cold country. Anyway, I just thought that was odd because it got me looking at other data, like Canadian data between 150 and 300,000 are homeless. My God, that's only double the population of here. So they're probably doing a pretty good job of it here. I, it's not as bad as I thought it was. You know, they're more of a family-based society, perhaps. That's why they, they take care of people. Yeah, just thought it was interesting. I'm not going to show you homeless people in this video. No, I think that would be rude. You know what they look like. All right, you take it easy. Just thought that was interesting to share. Bye-bye. Yeah.